Today in class we learned about Heron's area formula. Heron was a famous mathematician who came up with this. That's why it's named after him. And this is used when we are given three sides of a triangle, all three sides, how to find the area. Again, this is when we cannot use things like Pythagorean theorem or regular area formula because it's not a 90 degree or right triangle. The formula for area is the square root of S times S minus A, A is a side, times S minus B, B is the another side, times S minus C, where C is another side. The way we find S is by adding together A, B, and C, doing that first, and then dividing by two. So basically, we're just plugging into the formula. We just have one example to look at, and we want to find the area of the triangle with side lengths A equals 43, B equals 53, and C equals 72. The first thing we need to do is find S. So we have 43 plus 53 plus 72, all divided by 2. And when you plug that into your calculator, you should be getting 84 as the answer there. Then to find the area, we're going to do the square root of 84 times 84 minus 43 times 84 minus 53 times 84 minus 72. And we're going to put all of that in our calculator. Be sure when you do that that you're not closing off your parentheses right here um, or else you're going to get an incorrect answer. So just watch out for that. You should be getting that the area is equal to 1,131.89 and the units on that would be meters squared. And that was it for today. Assignment number 13 was page 445 numbers 47 through 50. The only difference on the homework is we're talking about a few application problems. So you may get to one that you're not sure how to do. Just use your reasoning skills to kind of think about what you have and what you want. On number 48, you're talking about a parallelogram parking lot. So that would be made of two triangles. So if you would find that third side of the triangle, get your area, and then multiply that by two, that would be your area on that one. And on the last two, we're talking about buying some land. So you'll need to find out how much land there is by using the Heron's formula. Then divide that by how many feet or yards are in an acre. And then multiply that by the amount of money they're charging per acre. Answers are in the back of the book, so that's a good place to check if you're getting super stuck. Or come and see me in class. That's it.